today we're going to be discussing my ADHD medication journey, my experience, the pros, the cons, and my overall thoughts on medication. The medication that we will be talking about today is Dexys or Dexamphetamine. So I quickly want to talk into my first time taking medication compared to taking them now and really what the differences are. My first time taking medication was quite literally like putting glasses on for the first time. Boom, see that? I actually am, don't look too bad with glasses on. Anyway, back to the video. And I was like in this weird shock moment of, is this what I was missing out on? Before my head sounded something like this. <laughs> And after taking the medication, my brain kind of sounded something like this. So although I felt really satisfied with the experience of taking my medication, it was almost like being told straight in your face, this is what you were missing out on. And that can be a very confronting thing for a lot of ADHD people to experience. It's almost as if like your whole life has been a lie. Everything that you've done slash did leading up to this moment feels as if, wow, this is what I was missing out on. This is what could have saved me. So it was hard. It was a very mixed bag of emotions trying to deal with that. One minute, you know, you're over the moon of emotions feeling like finally this is the fix. This is what's going to help me to then be reminded that, you know, you are taking medication now. You are relying on this device to fix you. You know, you've gone so long without it, but look at your life, you know, you haven't gone anywhere. And it, it is a very confusing time. And overall, I'd say it's definitely a moment to process for sure. And what was also crazy, it was like I wasn't living in my head anymore. I was actually present. I was able to almost experience everything around me at the same time and not be overstimulated or feel as if it's too much for me. Every little bit of information would be processed in the right way, recognize. I could recognize how I was feeling, where my body was, where I'm at. And I feel like a lot of ADHD people can definitely relate to this. Normally, you can't really sense where you're at. You don't know if you're happy. You don't know if you're sad. You don't really know how you're feeling majority of the time of ADHD. And I personally believe that's due down to the amount of stresses and anxiety we have going on in our lives. I wasn't over analyzing every decision either. It was like, if I wanted to do something, I could just go do it. For example, if I wanted to do my work or do my YouTube, I could just do it. There was no uncomfortable feeling. It was just easy to do and that's what really shocked me the most just how easy everything was i've never experienced that in my life everything that i've done before that even chores such as doing the dishwasher felt like a real mission something i really had to motivate myself to do i'm gonna be honest i'm a bit embarrassed admitting that but it was true before taking my medication small things really would affect me and although i did have my doubts you know knowing that the medication would eventually wear off and and i was right after that first time around four hours later the come down came and it was brutal i was quickly reminded and humbled that it wasn't a quick fix and that I still needed to work on myself alongside with my new medication journey to really get the most out of my ADHD. So now when I take medication, although it still feels like putting these glasses on, I'm used to them now. It's like I'm wearing the glasses all the time. So that motivation, that focus is all still there, but it's just quietly in the background. So now when I take my medication, I can choose what I focus on. If I want to go play Fortnite for hours and watch YouTube and waste my time, I can and I'll probably do it at a really good rate. But if I wanted to really Really work hard and focus on my passions, my businesses, and improving my quality of life, then I can do that as well. And that's just what happens over time. It's not like they don't work anymore. It's just that you're, it's less obvious to you. It's less of this feeling of like, oh my God, I'm like on medication. It's just, okay, we're back here now. And again, that is down due to your tolerance building. But yeah, I wouldn't say that they stopped working or that they got worse. It was more just that all the effects were just turned down a slight bit. As if like you've been listening to loud music for a while and you get used to that sound. It's just how it is with medication. As your body accustoms to it, you get used to all these side effects and all the feelings that overtake your body. And overall though, even though it is only silently there in the background, the overall effort it takes to do things is still way less than if I was not to take my medication. So overall, yeah, doing my work on meds is a lot easier. I do want to digress now guys into part two. We're going to be talking about the pros of medication. The first definite pro I noticed beyond any other one was my increased productivity. I mean, the first day, like I spoke to you, I remember just taking those meds and being able to do my dishwasher and I just remember having no backlash or no uncomfortable thoughts about it. It didn't feel hard. It didn't feel like it was going to take much effort. It was just so easy to do. Okay, this is what everyone else experiences. This is how it's meant to be. And it is kind of one of those moments where you're like, what the fuck? Like as if I've been living my whole life struggling to do a dishwasher when it's been this easy the whole time. I also noticed my general focus improved a lot. 
I was able to engage in tasks like I spoke about. Now it was easier to pay attention and listen. So I'm talking about those convos with your teachers or with colleagues or your boss, for example, could actually listen and not have that impulsivity reaching out, just wanting to tell them my story that relates to their story. And like, you know, really pieces together the story. I just stopped, just stop and listen and actively partake in the conversation. I didn't care if I forgot the story because I wasn't trying to remember the story. I was actually listening to what they were saying. And I know a lot of you people with ADHD can definitely relate to that one. And I think I definitely had less anxiety, guys. Overall, my anxiety was dropped. And I do, again, think that is down to the medication. I think by being so focused on what you are doing and being so, and it's not a zombie feeling, but I guess being so focused on completing a task or working or even just getting things done, it allows you to stop stressing all the time. It allows you to stop overthinking every decision you've made. It allows you to stop daydreaming. It allows you just to stop being in your mind so much. And I think because it makes you present, that is what brings your anxiety down because like I speak about many of my videos, anxiety is just the future and your regret is the past. And you can only ever be in control of the moment. The moment is the presence and the presence is the present. Really deep thoughts there, guys. But yeah, like overall my anxiety just dropped and it was so amazing to feel as if finally like I'm not trapped in my mind. I'm not just stuck here. I can finally be over here on the good side. So now we're gonna get into part three of the video where we're gonna be talking about the cons of medication. For me, the cons definitely weren't as extreme as other people that take ADHD medication. I only really suffer with a couple ones I'm gonna speak through on this video. So my ones I definitely suffer with was clamminess, excessive sweating. I've took my medication today. I don't know if you can really see, but my hands are super, super clammy. I feel really sweaty a lot of the time. And especially on that come up, I get a type of a jitters slash tingling feeling in my muscles and in my hands, mainly in my feet as well. It's just almost as if like I'm waking up. And of course the come down guys, it's pretty brutal. I can't lie. Taking dexamphetamines as they are a fast release type of medication, the calm down on them can be quite intense. So it's almost like the best way I can explain is like seeing your potential here. And then when you're on the calm down, knowing how good you can be. And it's almost just like a little rub in the face of like, haha, you can't get there unless you take a pill. And it's a very humbling and sobering thought knowing that is your potential and that is what you can achieve when given the right tools. And that's something I really want to make clear to you guys is that medication alongside using the remedies and the natural solutions like given these videos will lead you to that successful life that you are dreaming of. And obviously there's cons such as nausea, headaches, but these were cons that I personally didn't experience guys. Again, the only cons I really experienced was the excessive sweating, tingling in the hands and that calm down, which was especially that first time quite intense knowing that this is what I've been missing out on the whole time. And this is what I can achieve when given the right tools and strategies and obviously the right medication. Get my overall thoughts on medication. So guys, I actually made a video, which I will link right here if you guys wanna go watch that, where I do talk about my overall thoughts on medication. So if you want a more in-depth video about that, I highly suggest checking it out. I'll leave it linked up here. I highly recommend it to anybody that has tried all the natural solutions of ADHD. And even if you haven't and you just think that medication will work for you, I don't see a problem in trying it. I mean, the drug I take, dexamphetamine, has literally been around since the 1930s. The studies that have been done on this pill is insane and I highly recommend anyone to make sure they research what type of medication they will be taking. And I'm just gonna make this clear guys, I am not a doctor, this is just my personal experience. So everything I do say in this video, you need to go fact check that yourself and you need to sit down and have an honest conversation and see if this is right for you. Because there is no one fix for ADHD. What might work for me might not work for you and what works for you might not work for me. It's all gonna be different based on who you are as a person and how severe your ADHD really is. If you enjoyed today's video guys, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about medication, check out the video I made right here.